Hello, everybody. Dr. Pauline is taking us through the proper posture to help your knee strength. Okay, you want to avoid the knees bending in together. Keep a nice, stable foundation. Lifting up through the pelvis. So we're actually tucking it back. Okay, so that's bringing your belly button towards your spine and lifting up through the top of your crown. So we're nice and balanced, not dumping into our pelvis or our knees. First things first is foundation. Now put on some music or whatever you like, but we're going to do a short workout that will support your knees. If you are in any pain now, this one's a great one in order to uh, build up some strength. So first stretch we're doing, having your foot a little bit of away from the wall and bending forward so your knee is basically touching the wall, okay? So this will feel awkward. Basically you're stretching the front of your leg and then you're also stretching the back of your leg with your Achilles tendon, okay? So pulsing into this movement, meeting your comfortable edge about 10 times each side. Okay, great. Now we're moving on to our hip flexor stretch. Dr. Pauline is using a support, so we're using the wall, and then you can also use a strap if you're unable to reach your leg. What you're doing here is you're going to tuck in your pelvis, clenching your glute on the left side, smile, having the hip flexors balanced so the front of the leg up near the pelvis is actually going to help us find better balance throughout the whole chain. Okay, now Dr. Pauline is demonstrating with holding your leg. Important to keep your core on core is important for everything it is the center okay now we're moving down onto our top of our knees please feel free to use a support like some sort of towel underneath this goal with this is also keeping the core on we're doing a, our own body weight tilting back again meeting that comfortable edge core on glutes on tight you should feel this in the front of your legs or your quads we're doing 10 pumps here. Use the wall if you need. It's not an easy one. That coordination will really help with your gait while you're walking. Now we're going to do a bit of a deeper hip flexor stretch. Okay, so bring up your right knee, foot on the ground. You want 90 degrees, 90 degrees of each of your legs. Lifting up your left arm, bending a bit to your right side. Now, if you need the wall on your right side, this is a good point for that too. Again, a towel under the knees is always loved and supported. We're holding this for about 20 seconds. And we're switching, so bringing your left leg up. Again, into 90-90, lifting up your right arm and bending over to the right. Dr. Pauline's using the wall here, that's good. Yeah. Breathing through it. Almost there. And release. Now we're gonna go on to our bottoms here. Legs out straight in front of you, arms behind you, uh, kind of tenting up to support. You're gonna point your toes and rotate them outwards. All right, and then one at a time, keeping your core on. We're using our hip flexors here. We're also using the vastus medialis, which is the inside of the upper thigh. So what that's gonna do, a lot of people have inside knee discomfort. And so if this is not a developed enough muscle, people get a lot of um, asymmetrical pulling that can happen around the knee joint. So this is gonna help support that as well. Plus you look beautiful, like a ballerina. So we're doing 10 each side here. You can see Dr. Pauline's like, oh my gosh, this is hard. Yeah, it's a small muscle and it hardly gets used when we're walking. So it's really important to do this. Now 
Now we're lying onto our side. You can use your elbow to tent up your head. And then we're gonna bring our legs into a flex position and beside each other. And so we're opening up here as Dr. Pauline is demonstrating. We're doing, they're called clamshells, but really good for developing the deep uh, glutes. Glutes get, can get really underdeveloped, uh, especially with all of our sitting and improper walking postures. So when these muscles aren't strong, again, it's pulling off the whole chain and that's why we get these imbalances through our knees. Our knees are usually the first to feel it or to take the weight of it, of these imbalances. So we're doing 10 each side. And switch. Lying down. One. Three. Good, you feel it deep within the glute there. This is gonna help stretch your piriformis muscle too. Some people talk about this with uh, any sort of sciatic or uh, burning pain down the back of the leg or shooting pain. So if you do have this, uh, the shooting pain down the leg, this might be uncomfortable for you. Just to know that this is a nice, easy way to take care of your knees. We hope you enjoyed the workout. Have